Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In addition to the Singular and Archive templates, WordPress provides a few other template types. And in this video, I'll explain what those are and how to create those in Oxygen. So the first is the front page template. That is the template that'll be used if you are trying to do this. You can read about this on creating a static front page on the WordPress codex. Now, if you're simply trying to set a page created over here as your home page. Don't use this. Instead, just go to settings, reading. Your home page displays a static page, home page. Choose the page you want to be your home page. Next up is blog post index. So if you've gone to settings, reading, you've set a static page as your home page, and then you want to create a post page. You can choose your page that lists your blog posts here. And rather than creating the design for that page on that page itself, you can create a template here, which applies to the blog posts index. The next template type is the search results page. This template will be used to display a list of search results when a user searches with the WordPress search form or search widget or most uh, WordPress plugins that provide search results. The next template is your 404 template. This template will be used when there is a 404 error on the site. Uh, the next template is the inner content template. This template will be used to render the oxygen inner content element when no oxygen content is present. So imagine you designed a page template that contains a header, a footer, and an inner content element. You apply that to all your pages. You create a new page with Oxygen. The inner content element will be replaced with the content designed in Oxygen. Imagine you create a page and instead of designing it with Oxygen, you simply type in the page content in the WordPress post content editor. In that case, the inner content template will be used to render that if it exists here. The next template is the catch all template. This template will apply to all your pages if there isn't a more specific template that applies. So most commonly, the catch-all template is used to create a main template containing your header and footer. Here I have a main template, contains my header, an inner content, and a footer, and I've applied it as a catch-all. Okay, thank you very much for watching.